The scriptures say there is one body and one spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There is one baptism. Now, many people still don't understand how one is washed and cleansed. Let me show you. And we are told, husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, having sanctified her, making her holy by cleansing her with the washing of the word, so that he might present to himself the church in all her glory, having no spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and blameless. He did it by the washing of the water with the word. This is how we're cleansed. And Jesus himself said to the apostles, He who has bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. Speaking of Judas, just as some of those that are hearing this video are not clean. You haven't been cleaned yet. And in another verse he says to them, You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. They were washed by the water of the word that he spoke to them. When he told them to go therefore, teach the nations, baptizing them, they were baptized by what they were taught. So it's important that we're taught the right, correct faith so that we could properly be baptized. Cleansed by the word he spoke. For Peter himself said, For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable. That is, through the living and abiding word of God. Through the water of the word, you are washed and baptized. This is the true teaching. Again, as he says, prescribe and teach these things. Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Show yourself an example of those who believe. Until I come, give attention to the public reading of Scripture, to exhortation, and teaching, so that you may be baptized. Do not neglect the spiritual gift within you, which was bestowed upon you through prophetic utterance, with the laying on of the hands of the Presbytery. Through prophetic utterance, these words are prophetic utterance. These words are what wash us and cause us to be born again. So we are to prescribe and teach these things. Until he comes, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation and teaching. Take pains with these things, be absorbed in them, so that your progress may be evident to all. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Persevere in these things, for as you do this, you will ensure salvation both for yourself and for those who hear you. Because again, faith also comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Hearing this is what gives us salvation. Washes us, renews us, causes us to be born again. Prescribe and teach these things until he comes. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching so that they may be baptized, being taught correctly, ensuring their salvation.